Greenfield Airport in Delhi NCR region, uh, that is NOIDA International Airport. And here I will tell you that what are we doing in terms of our overall air service development strategy that will help in connecting NOIDA to the world. Okay. So before we start, just a brief uh, intro about you know how the overall aviation is growing. I know we all are aware about the facts and the figures, but in terms of our trips per capita in the next 20 years, we are talking about you know, it will grow by 3x. When it comes to the share of uh, you know India in the Asian market, again there would be a substantial increase. And what we are talking about is effectively there would be an ecosystem that would be thriving in the next 20 years wherein India would be the fastest growing aviation market. Having said that, NOIDA International Airport will actually be supporting the growth of uh, uh, the demand of this particular region. Especially if you talk about Delhi NCR, uh, the Western UP and the entire North India. So, I just take a pause. If, uh, you know, this slide has not been shown in the earlier presentation by my colleague, this is how our airport will look like once we commission it next year in 2024 end. So this is the phase one, as you can see, and uh, this would be the first part of the terminal uh, that will be able to process around 12 million passengers per annum. Moving forward, a brief about the airport. So it's going to be the India's first multi-airport system in a metro region in a competitive environment. We are around 70 kilometers from Delhi, so as you can see in the map, and this airport is being run by Zurich Airport International. We have got a concession for 40 years to basically design, develop, and operate this particular airport. A brief on the Zurich Airport. So this is a public company with 75 years of experience in managing the airports. There are more than 10 airports in the markets like Europe, Latin America, and in India. And India is the second airport that they are pitching up. So with this particular uh, you know, overall uh, experience, there is definitely a lot of push to see how we can grow NOIDA as one of the most successful airports in the region. Talking about the key demand drivers that will help in growing this particular airport, here is a snapshot of our catchment area. So when we talk about our primary catchment, basically we are talking about the markets in UP and the Delhi NCR region. All these regions can be connected within less than 120 minute, minutes of the ground transport. And we are also talking about you know, the connectivity that can be built by air. So this is this would be our extended catchment as we build our overall you know air connectivity. We want to basically link the airports, which are like less than say 30 minutes of flying time and also ranging it up to you know almost 1500 kilometers to develop that land structure out of Noida Airport. Noida Airport will also be a key gateway for the major tourist hotspots in and around uh, this particular location. So we have various markets uh, like of Agra which is a major major tourist destination we have a lot of Buddhist uh, destinations, so, like of Sarnath, Kushinagar, etc. Also, there are a lot of pilgrimage destinations, like of Ayodhya, uh, Allahabad, Varanasi, and also up north in Uttarakhand. So, our idea is that Noida would be able to effectively serve the passengers or the tourists to all these important regions. Apart from being a tourism hotspot, we are surrounded by the major manufacturing and the IT industries. And that's going to be a critical factor in basically pushing the business travel and also the cargo opportunities in this particular region. So as you can see that you know the, there is a good concentration of major industrial uh, major industrial uh, uh, elves plus the IT industries which are all over here. Further dwelling on the cargo opportunities, so we have markets uh, ranging from you know Delhi, Lucknow, Kanpur, all the way to you know 
places like Panipat, Jaipur, etc. And the category of products will range from leather, electronics, e-commerce, etc. Having said that, we know that there is a significant demand which rests in this market. But then, what is the next aspect that we need to look into? So what we are talking about is, there is a strong traffic potential. As an airport, we are building state-of-the-art infrastructure, which of course my colleague has uh, told in the earlier presentation. Our focus is heavily on the digital and the technological inclusion, because that's one of the key aspects to ensure we, we bring in efficiency and overall efficacy in our all the processes. But we also will remain focused on the customer needs, especially for the passengers who may not be digitally well advanced. We are also focusing a lot on the green and sustainable operations. And if I have to just tell you about the key focus area for air service development, that's something that uh, you know we are uh, discussing right now. It's effectively how I can increase the overall passenger footfall at this particular airport. With this background in mind, we are talking about some of the key aspects, which is effectively enhancing the overall passenger experience. So it's not only just about you know uh, the shopping experience, but it's about the entire end-to-end -end experience at the airport. But also taking care of the key expectations of the passengers, which would range from you know their comfort, safety, uh, sustainable uh, uh, sustainability in terms of you know low costs, etc. So, as an organization, our three important areas that we are working on is collaboration, automation, and a data-driven approach. Uh, my colleague did mention about this data philosophy, which is driving our entire operations. And these will be the three key aspects that will help in you know, better connecting with the passenger at our airport. As I move forward, so effectively, we are talking about the passenger experience. We are talking about efficient operations, and we are talking about the sustainable operations, not only for us, that is the airport operator, but also for the entire community, all the stakeholders who would be working within this airport premise. If I talk about our capacity, we are coming up with a 12 million passenger handling capacity once we start our operations. And eventually, we are going to shape it up to a 70 million passenger handling capacity uh, airport. Our overall master plan is being designed to ensure the seamless flow of operations, not only from the stakeholders' perspective, but also from the passengers' uh, perspective. There is a flexibility that we are considering in our overall design to ensure that we should be able to accommodate the future growth in the market. Having said that, we are also coming up with a state-of-the-art integrated cargo terminal. Recently, we have awarded this contract to AI SACS, who we are partnering in developing this particular infrastructure. This is another area that we would be focusing upon heavily because I mentioned that what's the demand of uh, cargo in this particular market. So apart from the infrastructure, wherein it would be uh, you know, a combination of the logistic park, the cool port, trucking center, etc., a lot of focus would be on the digitization and automation to ensure the customers get the maximum benefit. Last but not the least, design is something that we are working very closely with the teams to ensure that it is simple, yet innovative and effective. One of the key elements that I want to talk about in the design is how we are integrating the essence of the state of UP in the overall design philosophy. That's an important aspect in our uh, you know, overall uh, uh, journey. So with this, I come to an end of my presentation. So what we are telling is that it's a holistic approach that we are taking towards the overall air service development at Noida International Airport. It's not only just about working with you know the airlines to come over here and start the operations, but it also includes retaining them and growing their business from here. 
and working together with them to basically serve the end customer, which is the passenger. So with this, I would like to say thank you. And our overall philosophy is that we want to make NIA as the new gateway to North India. And definitely, we would be happy to hear from you, your views to see you know, how we can further make more uh, advancements in this journey. Thank you very much.